Welcome back to SnowRunner, and we are going to go and get that oil rig drill. Um, yeah, in the last episode I said that today was my day off and I was hoping to have a little bit more time than yesterday. That I would have all the time in the world to record and edit and do everything. And produce a really, really good video. Yeah, I have even less time than yesterday now. I only have a total of two hours being awake today because I came home late from work yesterday so I had to sleep a little bit more. Um, I woke up around 9 a.m., 9.30 instead of the usual, uh, I would have hoped, 7. But yeah, um, I woke up around 9.30 and then I went to shower, do everything that I needed to do to get myself ready. Didn't even eat yet. Already recording here. Um, yeah, it's 10.50 uh, currently. Um, I'm a little bit late. I have about two hours to get, get this video out today. So then tomorrow on Wednesday, uh, there will be an episode. Um, also, I have about an hour and a half, actually, because I still need to do a lot of chores here in the house for my wife, otherwise she's going to be mad, of course, I can understand that, because real life goes before video games, that's what she said, um, which is fair, I mean, yeah, it's fair. Um, yeah. So that means I have about an hour and a half. And I need to go and do a lot of chores. And then go and pick her up from work. Because we need to go to the municipality for her to sign a performance index. Because she's integrating into the country. Yeah. Life really isn't playing into my hands currently, um, but we'll get through it. I'll get through it. I hope that in the next coming days I have the early shift. I will be really early at some point. Uh, that I will be home around 2, that I have all the free time in the world to record and edit and push out Friday's episode. Otherwise, that one is not going to make it. So, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I hope I'm able to do it. In the meantime, we are um, heading into Smithfield Dam already. Um, I'm going to firstly uh, quickly get the trailer in place. The, the one here in, behind me park it and then I will um, I will respect this truck for a, a trailer hitch and not like this like the the saddle and I think it's going to be a saddle low Jesus that music plays on a long time I think it's going to be a low saddle but actually no I'm not going to spec the truck I'm just going to take away the, the sideboard bed that's what I'm going to do. No need to spec the truck because if you buy the trailer, it'll spec the truck for you. It'll put the correct uh, bed on it or the correct saddle on it for you because the saddles are free. So it'll put it on for you. Um, so I'm going to go with an empty frame. Don't look, because then she's naked. That would be rude. Really rude. To look under the skirt of a lady. Or would it be possible to put it on that one? I don't need to buy a trailer. I prefer that.
a little bit more and straight back on straight straight <coughs> into the loading dock there we go and detach all right let's go Uh, customize frame add-ons. The sideboard bed is gone. Actually, I'm just going to go and get the, the trailer. Because, uh, not that one. Just making sure that I'm not... <laughs> That I'm not uh, rolling off uh, fuel carrier, no flatbed semi trailer. That's big, too big. Uh, no gooseneck semi trailer. Huh. Now that would be a good one for replacing that flatbed semi trailer. I think it was this one that I had a super heavy. Oh, you know, that's a bit too much. Can also do this one, the sideboard trailer, fuel carrier. No, no, no. Yeah, I think it was this one, the flatbed semi trailer. But then we can also do this one. What's the difference? 13,200, 13,600. This one brings me more more confidence that it'll stay on. So I'm just going to do this one instead. And put it in neutral. Ah, right, 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 right. Wait, wait. 6 a.m. Prefer to do this uh, in the light. Um, I'm not really confident in this truck still with a semi trailer on the back. Um, I've, it's proven me mistaken every time again so far, so I hope it's going to do it again. But yet, it's going to be really, really, really light on the front. And that's mostly my concern. I'm hoping it can still do some steering. Ah, uh, the oil rig drill. This one, it's a five slot. So I would not have been able to do it with the other truck. Or the other trailer. Uh, the 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 triangle one, the flatbed, the ramp flatbed trailer. I would not have been able to do it with that one. All right, here we go. Uh, on back to a Black River with the drill. Hopefully able to deliver it via the way that I discovered in my last episode and uh, Monday I'll be able to I mean it's not no oh, breaking the truck already breaking it no that's Tokyo drifting Dang it don't do it again come on behave yourself I don't know what it was that hit me, but... Prefer not to do that again. But we were rolling really nicely. Really nicely. Good thing there's a maintenance trailer right at the drilling site. So then, if I need to, I can fix the truck. But I don't think it really affected my... Uh... Oh, here we go, bogging down already. Uh-huh. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, but it's... 
Still going. I mean, I like that. She's still going. Still strong. Even though the hard surface isn't hard enough, it seems like. She's still doing it so far. Still doing it. I like that. Why are your air hoses not connected to the trailer? This way, if I break, the trailer is not going to break. And then the trailer is going to push me on. And then he's like, ah, you're trying to break? Ha ha ha, funny. Joke's on you. I'm not going to help you. Joke's on you. You're going to go. You're going to continue. And here we go. Still going. Still going strong. Sorry, I had to get a quick thumbnail shot. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be uh, really messy. And that's going to be an empty trailer once again. So, the oil rig drill... Um, not going in here because it's really tight turn I'm going in here because it's not a really tight turn but not as tight as the previous one and I need a little bit more space because I'm a little bit longer I prefer not to break out the fire hydrants Now, I could have also taken uh, that trailer over there. Would have been free. But again, then I would have had to bring it all the way there. And then all the way back. So. This was for me currently. Uh, with the kind of money that I'm making, that I have. Uh, it's basically the preferred way. And here we go back to the Shaboom Shaboom Road. Sha la 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 Shaboom Shaboom. The Cars Road. <laughs> Let's get in here. Try to stay on the solids. And there we go. On to the hill. I don't like this hill, but what can I do? Keep moving, keep it going, putting it a low plus. Just keep on trucking. And it seems like we're just not caring. Well, this is nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Cars behaving, behaving still really predictable, which is what you want from a truck. Sometimes bogging down a little bit, but then she regains control fairly quickly, which is really good still from a, something you want from a truck. And here we are for hold up. Uh, uh, cannot do repairs. Okay. Well then, keep your secrets. 
Keep your repairs. Don't bother me with it. Cargo management. The drill. Hello. Whoa. That went up quickly. Um. Well then. The construction rig semi trailer. Uh, which is. Where is it? It's in this map. It's over there. Mm, can I? I can. But this is going to be easy. I'm going to bring this trailer to the garage in this map. Because I prefer to put it at a garage. Then I'm going to enter the garage on this map to repair this truck. And then life is going to be easy peasy. It's going to be really simple. Just pick up the trailer. And bring it home. Here. Sorry. Bring it here. Um, yeah, I'm going to speed up the road to the to the garage um, also parking the trailer it's going to be a little bit am I going to park it or am I just going to sell it again no I'll park it I'll park it and then I am going to bring the truck in then I'm going to respect the truck for the high saddle because uh, She's going to have to pull the big load, and the mother load. So far. Um, yeah, I don't know if she's got it in her, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. She's proven me wrong every time and time again, so I'm just not going to say anything about it. I still prefer with wet weather to go this route. Because basically, basically it's um, more solid in my experience. Is it more? Is it more solid? I don't know. But in my experience, it's it feels more solid in my head, and I think that's the only place where it is more solid. It's just for my own insurance, you know? <laughs> just for my own insurance. Go in here. And we will... Um, go in here. And then here we go. Onto the garage. See you there. Pulling into the garage, um, I see we have a sideboard trailer here still, uh, which is going to be sold because we do not need it here. If we need it, we will bring it from Smithville because that's our main hub. Uh, this one I will, I would like to bring to Smithville. 
But I've actually been thinking on the way here. I think I prefer to do it another way. But since I'm here already, I might as well just, you know, I might as well not care. But I'm still going to sell this one first. Uh, sell it. Patch. Turn. Plus, I don't really like the sideboard trailers. Uh, this one... It's there. And gone it is. Um, yeah. Just to repair the truck. And take away the saddle low and put on the saddle high. Uh, saddle low is on. Saddle high needs to go on. Leave the garage. And let's get to the trailer. The construction rig semi trailer. I don't think they will be happy to see me come up with this, but what can I do? Oh yeah, the Tokyo Drift. Prefer not to do that again. So the road I'm going to take is uh, through the farm. Mainly because it's shorter uh, and it doesn't really pose a threat for this truck. I know that already. Um, yes, it's a little bit cha more challenging than just going straight ahead and moving along uh, over the asphalt, but you gotta live a little, right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, 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 no. Don't get stuck. Good. And going up here. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Especially in this weather. Why does it always rain? Why? Why, why does it always rain? Hmm. Uh, I keep wondering. But we are on to the solid road, so I will see you guys at the big rig. the big rig semi-trailer uh, she's a little bit bigger than I anticipated <laughs> um, this going to work hope so it kind of is can she pull it she can't pull it all right well I don't know why that bumper is so messed up but Oh, it's just a bumper. Okay. Right. I'm just going to leave this here. In the meantime that I was driving to this place, I got a call from uh, the person that's going to fix my car's window, the windshield, because, um, yeah, something hit it and, yeah, 
it broke that's it just got a big rip down the middle after like a rock hit it so I have to um, cut it short here like I said it's my day off but I'm even more busy than when I have to work um, I'm gonna leave this here and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you will like subscribe and all the fun things don't forget that bell icon to never miss a notification and I will see you guys in the next episode on Friday if I make it I'm sure I will claim it claim it claim it peace out